The Dow is touching highs right now. Let's call it the CP effect. Well, maybe there's some other factors too, right? This is a huge week for earnings as we uh, also get the chance to hear from the Federal Reserve on what they may do next amid this coronavirus pandemic. Joining me now to discuss the Bonson Group CIO, David Bonson. And David, let me start with the Federal Reserve. You know, a survey out a week or so ago showed Jerome Powell, the most popular uh, Fed chairman, going back to Alan Greenspan. And we know, and, no, and the general public, by the way, couldn't name any, any Fed shares before that. So uh, obviously people are pleased with what he's doing, but there's also some criticism saying, hey, while, while small businesses scrap over hundreds of billions, somehow the Fed has bailed out large institutions to the tune of trillions. What do you say to that? Well, it just isn't true, factually. I will say, by the way, Paul Volcker is still the most popular Fed chair in my house, but I wasn't part of the survey. But, but um, Charles, it's really important people understand that the Fed's initial actions were to just simply bring stability to the financial system. And, and we will end up Monday morning quarterbacking it, what was right, what wasn't right. But as far as the longer-term facilities they've set up, this Main Street lending facility is totally unprecedented. So to use a little bit of equity from Treasury, from the Department of Treasury itself, lever it up to put money directly into small businesses, that's an unprecedented move by the Fed. It hasn't gotten anywhere near the attention that their efforts with Treasury bonds and mortgage bonds have. Right. And I, and I think we, uh, when I say we, most people, I think, applaud that. I think the idea, though, for instance, uh, buying corporate debt, uh, some of the high yielding stuff uh, for a company, ABC, for the last four or five years that borrowed money, bought back their own stock to the tunes of tens or hundreds of billions of dollars. Now they're in the jam with some of this debt. And now the Fed is buying it up, essentially bailing them out. They say that's the transfer. That's where the middle class wealth is transferred to, into the hands of the wealthiest folks in this country. And if that were true, I would agree if there were literally high yield bonds, junk bonds that were buying back their own stock, but there weren't. There, nobody is going to find cases where the Fed is buying the debt of companies that had been doing that or other than maybe outlier cases. But the Fed entering the high yield market at all is itself problematic. It's just that their objective, even though it is bailing out some people that maybe were are now benefiting from risks they took, their objective is to keep uh, liquidity going through the corporate market so that companies can roll over their debt and not have a knock-on effect, have them start missing payments that uh, je jeopardize their commercial mortgages, right. have them laying off a lot of people. It's right. a trickle-down effect they're worried about. I don't think it's a good idea for the Fed to be intervening this way in risk assets at all. But this junk bond thing is hardly the first time they did it. It started in mass after the financial crisis with all sorts of mortgage bonds. And then nobody was complaining when all the Main Street people who weren't paying their house payment and the Fed was coming in and supporting those mortgage-related bonds. Then they, they expanded it, and that's well, look, the world we're now in. So I do think there's a lot of moral hazard here we're going to be sorting out for years to come. If you can answer this quickly, because I want to get to oil, but on that moral hazard question, overnight, the Bank of Japan, another $186 billion is saying they're going to keep buying corporate debt, corporate bonds, and they are, are also own equities. Are we going to eventually see our Federal Reserve buying stocks? Well, the difference in Japan versus America is that we have a constitution and we have a law from Congress that makes it much more difficult. Do I think Congress might one day amend the Federal Reserve Act to allow for them to buy stocks? Possibly, but I don't think the Fed will be doing it until Congress acts. And that's the difference. Japan had no such okay. restrictions, Charles. Uh, real quick, on uh, you, you were a big advocate of multi-level, uh, um, uh, the master limited partnerships, uh, the, the oil industry in general, obviously having a big, a tough go of it today, down 27% on the latest contract. What happens with those positions, with those MLPs? Yeah, it's all about quality. The, the lower tier ones, lower credit, highly levered, those ones are getting hit hard. The higher quality ones you saw last week, Kinder Morgan, actually increased their dividend. So companies like EPD, Enterprise Product, and Kinder Morgan, that we own those two, they have very good distribution coverage, very good debt-to-asset ratios. We think they're going to weather the storm. They have better counterparties. They're basically exposed to companies like Exxon, not companies 
like these right, junker credits right. that are going to be uh, really struggling we, through this period. We got you, David. Also By the remember, way, Kinder Morgan wanted a top percentage gainer today as I hand it over to Liz Clayman. Liz. 